The green button is used to accept a choice selected with these blue arrows. The red button is used to decline a choice and to step back to a prior set of choices. The menu interface is intuitive and will only give you relevant choices. The Q Advanced never shuts down. It merely goes to sleep if none of the buttons are touched for two minutes. This feature lowers the Q Advanced's power consumption. When you decide to wake the logger from its sleeping state, all you have to do is push any one of the four buttons. The EasySense Units interface is always as you left it. Normally, the LCD will display the main menu when the unit is woken, unless left otherwise. The main menu offers a variety of choices, including capture modes such as Easy Log, Snapshot, Logging, and Time and Motion. Let me introduce you to the capture modes available. EasyLog is a fully automated logging function. This is aimed at data logging sessions where user-defined parameters are not essential. Meter mode displays the SmartQ sensor's real-time readings. This allows you to spot-check the sensors prior to capturing data. Snapshot mode allows the user to manually create a set of data, one sample at a time. Logging allows the user to define a specific set of parameters, including duration, sampling intervals, starting conditions, and trigger levels. Time and motion is specifically for measuring any combination of A and B switches. There are several types of switches available, such as light gates and the push button reaction switch. Let's take a look at meter mode. This is the function which allows you to spot check sensors. Navigate so that the arrow on the left hand side of the LCD is pointing at meter. Then choose it by pressing the green button. Now channels 1 through 4 are shown and are empty, since there are no sensors connected. If you plug in a SmartQ sensor, it will automatically be recognised. First, the sensor's name is displayed. After a few seconds, the LCD will display real-time readings from the sensor. To change the range of a multi-range sensor, all you need to do is press the green button when the arrow is pointing at the sensor of choice. Select the desired range using the buttons. As you can see, it does not matter how many sensors you connect simultaneously, they will always be recognised automatically. You can scroll through the sensors if more than four are connected simultaneously by using the up and down buttons. As I mentioned previously, there are several types of data logging functions. Two of them are easy log and logging. Logging gives you full control of the logging parameters. This is useful when it's necessary to set a fixed duration and intersample time. However, if this is not necessary, EasyLog is a simple and easy to use data logging function. Let's look at EasyLog. EasyLog is an automatic data logging function. It will automatically adjust its parameters according to the elapsed time of the recording. To start logging, select EasyLog. You can leave it to record data for up to 31 days unattended. What EasyLog is essentially doing is adjusting the intersample time in proportion to the time elapsed. During the first 30 seconds it takes a thousand samples from each sensor. Then when 30 seconds has elapsed it discards half of the samples and records new samples according to the new sample rate. As I mentioned earlier the EasySense unit goes to sleep after two minutes if none of the buttons are pushed. This also occurs when the intersample time of the recording exceeds two minutes. EasySense will wake itself whenever it needs to take samples. As you see now, the LCD is switched off, but it's still recording. When I press a button, the unit wakes and the LCD is now displaying the information for the EasyLog session. When you are satisfied that the experiment has finished, press the stop button and confirm your choice.